Hello and welcome in today's PowerPoint tutorial. I get a question, how could we make in PowerPoint this kind of Instagram animated text videos? So it would be fairly easy. In PowerPoint, we do have first, change the dimensions of the actual slide. Second, do this entire design and animation. And third, export it to video. Let's start with the first one to change the size of the actual slide. Once you arrive in PowerPoint, maybe let me just open up quickly a very new PowerPoint. You can go to design. On the very right side, you have slide size. You click on slide size, you go custom slide size, and you just change the width and height in inches to be to the same amount. For example, 14 and 14 inches. I'll press OK. I'll just set it to maximize on ensure fit because we have nothing on the screen. It will not matter. And right now we have a perfect square slide. Now let's see what is on the animation and how to replicate it. We have this image background. This image slowly grows towards us. We also have this element and the text like fading and wiping in from the left side. Well, PowerPoint isn't perfect with those animations, but we will try to make it in a very simple way. First off, I went to download a picture. I went to Pixabay and I just wrote books and I had some images with books. So I downloaded this one and downloaded this one. So we have two items to work with. If we have the image, we can go to the second part of this video, the design. I will take this image, the image is of full HD quality, I'll put this in the middle of the screen. Now how to enlarge it to this entire slide background. We can click on crop in the format picture tools, crop, we can open the crop options, aspect ratio and set it to a square, one to one. Okay, a square has been created out of this crop, now I can simply enlarge it to the entire screen. It automatically enlarges to those borders. And since I have this picture too small now, I once again click on crop and I just select fill. Perfect, the background is complete. I click on crop to crop it around and I am prepared for my animation part. Now I just need the text elements to be on this screen. For that, you are always going to insert and either insert a shape or also insert text box. So I'll start with the shape. I'll pick a rectangle shape and I'll make the rectangle for the first text box. Shape outline. Click on shape outline. Select no outline. Shape fill. Make the shape fill white. Okay, so we have this first box. Perfect. I'll put this in the middle and I want some text over this box. I could start typing right here away, but I'm not a big fan of that. I tend to use separate text boxes because we can then freely move the text. So I'll go to insert and now I'll insert a text box. Maybe here just so we see it. This will be text number one. Okay. I'll select this entire text box. I place this text in the middle. I enlarge the text and I make the text black. Okay, it's already black. I'll put it above this one. If this box would be too small, I would simply enlarge the box by selecting my left control key. I can enlarge it to the left and right side. Okay, just so it fits the text. Perfect. So this is my first box. What I want to do, I want to select both items, both the box and the text box. I want to right click, okay, not move, group and select group. So we have our first group of objects completed. For now, I would like to duplicate it two more times. So I'll fill the entire screen just, where is it? Just like we had in this video. One, two, three text boxes. Maybe I will skip this because this is just replicating the same steps. I'll also make this animation. Okay, so three text boxes, one, two, three. Now, okay, I'll try to put them in equal spaces. If I don't do this, I can simply with my shift select all three of them 
I can go to Format, Align and distribute them vertically. So now I, I have equal spaces between those boxes. Okay, perfect. They cover most of the slide now perfectly. I also want those this one text element here. So I copy any text layer I have. I just press Ctrl D on this text layer. I make this mark and I make this of course smaller and I make sure that this by going to home this is very very big the problem is it will be extended to to this amount because it's just like a big letter now so it can get in the way sometimes but we will surely manage that just press on white and we have this element as well prepared okay everything is positioned everything is placed everything is designed i will of course also try to share this template so you will have it for download and for usage so we have this template and now finally the fun part animation opening up animation pane opening it here clicking on the first object the first object and also all those objects i want to shift click and select all of them the most suitable animation for this kind of video will be the wipe because this way we can animate both things at the same time both the object and the text okay wipe effect options from left right click start with previous so everything starts automatically and i want to extend the duration to two and a half seconds okay two and a half seconds Perfect. So right now we would have something like this on the screen. Everything is wiping from left to right. I want to click on each subsequent animation and I want to delay it by 0 0.75 just about or maybe by one second. This will be set to two seconds and the last animation will be set to three seconds of delay. So this entire animation will take about three and two and a half about five seconds to play you see you'll notice something is missing here like we have this animation it nicely wipes the text is being revealed the information is being given but the background is very static this would be the last element we need to adjust here okay for that you want to click on the picture which is in the background you want to open animations and you want to use grow shrink by clicking grow shrink it starts a hardcore 150 percent grow i want this to be the first animation because i kind of want it to start the animation so right click also with previous and i want to extend this animation to cover up the entire video i'll extend it to like nine seconds because i want this people to have a bit of time to read this video so if i play it from you see it's moving very quickly in order to address this double click on this animation go to effect and change the size of this effect 150 percent is completely overkill so i make it 120 or even 115 this is completely enough of a grow to for this picture for the nine seconds we have of this animation pressing ok play from and perfect we have this animation ready right now right now the very last adjustment i have for this video is to create a fade in and fade out effect go to transitions press on fade and give it a duration of one second very very important is to select after zero seconds instead of on mouse because if we have on mouse click if we export this to video from powerpoint it will have five additional seconds so this isn't necessary especially for the fade out that we want to do for the fade out i usually just create a new slide i give this slide a format background a black background just change the background to black of the slide that's it nothing else we have that black background and we also give it a fade animation duration one second after zero instead of on mouse click because if i would be leaving this on mouse click this empty slide would take five seconds on the video we don't want that we just want this to be a fade to black 
So if we right now export this to video, it will have one second fade in. Let me go to animations, nine seconds of animations and one second of fade off. Look at that. We do simply now click on file, export, create a video, second spent on each slide. As you can see, this can stay because we have set timings, full HD, 1080 by 1080, weird dimension, create video, and I'll just save it on my desktop. I'll call it presentation two. Of course, I can now change the text, change the size of the white boxes and duplicate the slides how many times I want. No matter how long the video is supposed to be, this video which we exported right now will have 11 seconds. You can see on this video player perfectly 11 seconds, one second fade in, animation happens. You can have as many of those boxes as you want because the enlargement is even again too quick. And then one second of fade out. This is exactly how you can make videos of this type. That's it. That's everything you have to know in order to create these kind of videos. I will share this template with you and you can possibly either create this or have fun right away. Thank you very much for listening and see you in other video tutorials like this. If you do enjoy it, please check out all of my courses because I teach PowerPoint like this.